Well, Paul, more SUVs for us. Well, I know how much you enjoyed the last one, Tiff. Yeah, except one of those was diesel. And uh, not today. We got 1,200 combined horsepower with these two petrol V8 cars. Wonderful. The Bentley, Bentea, Bentea? Bentega. Funny looking yeah. word, Bentega. Well, obviously, this is the car for me to drive, but it's British. Well, it's British. It's made in Britain, but it's actually got a German owner, VAG. Ah, the Volkswagen Group. Exactly. Well, in that case, then, I'll go Italian, because look at that Lamborghini, just full of Italian passion. Well, actually, that's owned by the same company, VAG, as well. Ah, well, in that case, I'll take the Bentley, because that's made in Britain still, isn't it? Made up at the crew factory. You, you look very puckered to drive well, a Bentley today. Well, you're actually looking a bit Latin, aren't you? I don't really? know about that. Well, OK, well, let's take the Bentley for a drive first. I'll drive, you get in okay, the passenger seat. let's go. Seat. Gosh, that leaps forward, doesn't it? It's really impressive, isn't it? <laughs> you can get a tricky long left, oh, it's right, 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 bit of rallying. Get a little bit of nose tucks in. That's, that's, that's amazing, amazing, isn't it? And then you hoof it out the corner. <laughs> After the initial wake-up call from the surge of power, it was time to back off, relax, and appreciate the luxurious interior. How's this temperature for you, Mr. Nadell? Very nice. You want a massage or something with your seat? Not from me, from the seat, because it's got lots of different options for massage. Look, Look one, at two, this. three, four, five. Just when you sit behind this perfectly round steering wheel, Success number one. You and, your, you and your round steering I, wheels. I can't help it. It's just one of those little things that just upsets me. It just looks absolute quality, doesn't it? But all of it, the stitching, the dials, the, the knobs, the buttons, it just, everything looks quality. So you've got prices and specification in the glove box or something? Well, I've got it here actually down the side oh. of the seat, already prepared for you. Ah, I knew you, I knew you were going to ask me. So list so, price for this car, entry the, starts the, at the V8, 136,200, a snip. 136,000 pound car, but I'm actually sitting in. You're this sitting in a car is... with 68,000 pounds worth of extras. <laughs> Because it's got rear entertainment, it's got the moon and pack. Sixty-eight thousand uh -huh. pounds worth of extras. This car is a 60, shade, shade over two hundred thousand pounds for this car. How with all can this, you spend sixty thousand? Panoramic pounds? roof, massaging seats, moon and pack. Um, Mulliner, what's a Mulliner pack? How much is the Mulliner pack? Then? Mulliner pack is about eleven grand. To eleven thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. But you get a lot for it. Tiff. What do you get from Mulliner pack? Well, it's look. Let me let me remind you. This is Bentley. This is a quality British automotive company, and you can have things such as a tourbillon. I can buy a whole here. car for eleven thousand pounds. Oh, it has got panels. It has got, got panels. Well, I never use those for Bentley. Ah, ah, nice heads up display, I've got speed limit and my speed. So you wouldn't use the, the uh, paddles in this car? Why would you ever use the paddles? Oh, wow, I'm using okay. them now, nothing's happening. It's not really changing there down. No, yeah, because you change down like you're sending Morse code. Ba, 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 SOS. Hold on a minute. Oh, something I don't like. Oh, come on. You can't cover the cup holders. No. <laughs> Expensive <laughs> cars. I don't want to see <laughs> cup holders. Why not? Okay. That's no. stylish, that's stylish. No, I want the option to cover them up. Oh. That's stylish. Look at that lovely stylish, stylish cup aluminium finish there, beautiful. Off of everyday cars, not luxury. It's not, it doesn't hold a champagne glass, does it? It's too big. If it was a champagne glass holder. What do you do when you go out driving? What? You Nadell's. The infotainment system isn't as good as some of the other within the VAG. How does it all go? Is it touch screen or is it, it scrolling? What have I got down Touch screen here? here, but you've also got these buttons here. This is your um, your, your different uh, uh, rides, sport, course, I mean, I've got modes, I want modes. You've so got, got so sporty. many modes. You've got so many modes. Sport's quite good actually on this. It really does change it up massively. So I've just put you in sport. Uh -huh. I hope you don't mind. Um, I know you're a bit looking very we've sporty got, casual we've, today. We've got off-road <laughs> modes as well. Yeah, there's off-road. We've got, we've got all sorts. Look, they say that they're pretty good at off-roading, but you know. Well, fair enough. When I hit, when I hit the little bumpy dumps. It's a big difference, isn't it? You've you gone sport. I've That's gone what's sport, suddenly yeah. got the difference. Exactly. Well, yes, suddenly, all of a sudden, you feel... Big difference, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Piano That's black comfort. here. I can't get back to comfort. Please. Really, Tiffy? I'm cruising. What are you telling me? <laughs> Tiff, I think we've well and truly covered your Benny, so I need to know your thoughts. I love it. I'm in now. Can't get me out. I can't believe your, you know, Italian stallion is going to be anything like as luxurious, comfortable as this. Shall we find out? We should. Okay.
Time then to head back to the Castle Coombe Manor House to switch into the Eurus. But from the word go, things just didn't feel quite right for me. Now, first up, Paul, it just doesn't seem right being in a Lamborghini or Frodo. There was that one previously. What was that one ages ago that didn't really? The LM002, arguably, that was the first super sports SUV ever, the LM002. It didn't that, last long, did it? Well, it's still a collector's car now, but it, I think once it went into action for the military, I think people realised that maybe it's not really <laughs> a V12 to be... Uh, did it have a V12 in yeah, it? Yeah, V12. People say that some of the purists say that this should have a V12, but I exactly. think this V8 is beautiful too. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Really? It's got a German V8 in it, but it should have an Italian V12. Oh, That's the first on. thing wrong with this Lamborghini. Technology, we've moved forward to tacky dials. I mean, really? really? I think this is beautiful. Blue and red and look at that. What? All I've got in front of me is something that you say you like, which is a big rev counter. It's a, that but it, but is it's beautiful. A, Charles designed it with the blue and red. Oh, come on. And look at this infotainment screen. Too, this flicky thing. That's how an infotainment screen should be. Look at that. Flicky thing is your start stop button. I quite like that. Does the children's seat look great? Come big, on. Look, look great big boggy things with your finger. Well, it's not for children, it's for old people like you that maybe can't see very well. <laughs> and look at this, all the different modes as well. And, and, and you can learn some Italian. Well, get your modes. What do you mean, anima? I don't mean what anima means at all. Uh, pass. But then it's got <laughs> Strada Street, think, yeah. Sport, Sport, Corsa, Track Mode. Then it's got Sabia. I think, is that gravel Sabia or something? Sabia Snow, I think, isn't it? Or Terra, the Neve Snow. A uh, Neve Snow, you're right. Terra must be... Terra Sabia's is gravel. Gravel, so what's Sabia? <gasps> it's got to be an off-road thing. Yeah, maybe. Allow me to show you the power of Corsa mode. Oh, look at that rev counter. All changes. Click it down. Oh, you can hear the noise. Do you think that's artificial? No, no, no. no. I put you to snow now. <laughs> I don't want to go to snow. I want to go into How Corsa. can it go back? It can only go one way down. That's one little thing about this car. I wish it would go back, but it doesn't. Ready? You ready for this? Click down to first. Oh, Rev center. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just sitting here with the word Lamborghini. There's something special about that. that I is. love that. There's something special about that design. But price-wise, I got all the, again full of options. This car. <laughs> what are these? These start at 165,000 pounds, but this one's got 50,000 pounds worth of extras on it. Less than the Bentley. Yeah. So this is a 214,000 pound car. This is only 10,000 more than the Bentley. So price-wise, they're almost identical. Bang and Olive said high five. Five thousand two hundred and fifty pounds, which was six thousand in the in the uh, Bentley. Okay, wasn't it? and you tell me, would you prefer to listen to that Bang Lawlison, or would you prefer to listen to this? There's no comparison. Save your five and a half grand and just listen to the engine. Sounds a lot better than the Bentley, that's for sure. Your rims, the wheels on this car cost four thousand pounds, but well, they are stunning rims. I have to admit, the rear seat entertainment, which is these, um, yeah screens for the kids that's uh, 4,300 which I remember they're identical they're the same as in the Bentley but the Shh, Bentley dear. they cost 5,600 pounds so cheaper than the Lamborghini than the Bentley yeah wow okay about a thousand pounds cheaper that's so the brakes Bentley. are standard the carbon ceramic brakes standard on yeah, this car massive brakes see the size of the front 17 desk. inch carbon ceramic brakes which is funny because you remember the Countach that came out of course back in our era the wheels, standard wheels, are only 15 inch, so these brakes are bigger than the actual wheels on the Quintad. So, uh, yeah, you've got a bit more power, a bit more torque, a bit lighter, sportier, streamlined look. You would never know you're driving a, an SUV, would you? Really, it does, it feels to me like a sports car. I think they both grow on you. I think that when I saw the Bentayga, the sketches for the first time, thought it was a dreadful looking thing. Actually, I think it's a nice looking yeah. car now. Same with this, when I saw it Geneva what? for the first time. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't. I, I was going to come to styling. What do you think about the styling of this car? I think you crashed this into something with the front <laughs> oh, and the back. Dear, it's no. got kinks in the wheel arches, front and rear. That's, that is style. That's Lamborghini style. That's their flair. The front is the fussiest front. It's got more of these it is a bit busy. and views and hexagons and things. It is a bit busy. I think, for me, a darker colour works better here because it hides that a little bit. But there, there's a lot going on, but... A lot? Well, it's a Lamborghini tiff. So, it looks like we're not going to be able to agree on the style. The Lamborghini is just too... No, no. I mean, you've got to admit, the Bentley's a smart-looking car. It's very refined, the Bentley, but this is so stylish as well. I've got an idea. What? i got an idea. Leave it to me. Okay. I'm going to bring in some experts. I'm going to settle the styling. Once oh, and for all. Okay. 
Paul's great idea was to bring in a styling guru from each of the manufacturer's representative countries, starting with the Bentley and Annabelle. So, Annabelle, Paul tells me that you are going to solve the styling issues by obviously agreeing with me that the Bentley is by far the classier looking car. I definitely agree with you, Tiff, I have to say. It is far classier looking <laughs> than the than the Urus. Um, I think and what a name! I mean, you got, what a name! I mean, are you happy with this name? Do you, have, do you know what Urus is for? I don't, no. Um, no, nor do we. we, we is it Latin related or something? It could be. I'm not sure. I mean, really, for gentlemen like myself, I mean, obviously, Paul's got a bit of that Latin look to me. I can see with that Lamborghini, but it's a, it's a bit fussy. It's, it's flashy style. though, isn't it? So it's a flashy car, I think. Flashy, yeah, flashy like flashy, Paul. Like Paul, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, things weren't going quite so smoothly in the Urus. <laughs> English, English, I don't speak Italian. So, do you like the interior styling of my Bentley? I, I love the interior style of your Bentley. I, I, I said to Paul that the Lamborghini was a bit tacky, all that, you know, blue and red this, and this fancy This is true, Ferrari there's too much going on. Of... This is a very classy car, it's the Thank classy you. option of the two. It is, it is, it is. It's a, it's a beautiful British. See, see, see Paul, you see, you see. <laughs> Mamma mia! Speak it in, speak it in English! Mama. Speak it in English! I, I presume you also appreciate round steering wheels. I get mocked because I keep on going on about road steering wheels chopped off. Are you talking about the opinion on round steering wheels? I don't know, I'm not, not experienced it. I don't, what is it? Is it the RS? I, I don't like chopped off. It's no. kind of Audi style chopped yes. off steering yes. wheels. Which I like a round steering No, it, you do, it, I don't, I haven't had much experience with it. Uh, not a round <laughs> steering wheel, basically. Fantastica, like. fantastica. È nuovissima, bellissima, velocissima. Come abbiamo visto, è fantastica la nuova well, sounds... Lamborghini Urus. It's, I have to say, that sounds very good. Yeah. So I'll just take your word for it. I have no idea what you said. So you agree with me then, really? I the do. That this is the classier looking car. Yes. <laughs> Much classier looking car, 100%. But... Argument settled then, Paul. Done. That's it. <laughs> Time to let Paul and his Italian friend understand that when it comes to prestige styling, Britain still leads the way. Hold on a minute. Where's your Italian girl gone? She didn't like the car, she's run away. Well, she's gone to order one from Rybrook, actually. <laughs> it's just too fussy for me. I think they're, they're for two very different customers. I think perhaps you actually suit the Lamborghini's looks. So maybe, but I actually love the Bentley as well. <laughs> Which would you have, Annabelle? Don't be influenced by Tiff. Which would you have? I, I would have to say the Urus. I would have to say the Urus. I think, I think, I think. Come on, <laughs> you get it with me. Annabelle. You deserted me. Yes. Sorry. 